How many of you own a business and pay for your team's personal development? I want to give you some tips and tricks today over the last six plus years of owning my own business that I've learned uh, a subdues and don'ts when, when it comes to personal development. Remember there's that old adage of if I pay my, if I pay for my team to learn and get better and they leave, it was a waste. And then the other side of that quote says, but what if I don't pay for them to get better at all and they stay? And this is such a huge thing in today's market, in today's business, in every area, you see all these personal development gurus. You see all these ways that you can learn and get better from, from people who have accomplished real things in life, right? And the number one thing, guys, with personal development is, especially if you have a team, are you investing in your team? Yes, but then there also needs to be an expectation for them to invest in themselves. So one of the biggest lessons that I've learned over the last six years of doing this is if the employee doesn't have any skin in the game, they don't value the educational content the way that they should, right? So we used to pay for precision nutrition for all of our coaches, okay? And it's a thousand dollar certification. It's only a couple of times a year that you can get in. And most of those people, right, especially the ones who don't work for us anymore, tout that certification that we paid for and they didn't do shit for. And what happens, guys, is this, is the reason they didn't value it is because they didn't put up the money. So a better way for you guys to do this as a business owner is if you have a team member come to you and say, hey, I wanna get better at this, or I wanna learn this, or I wanna take this certification, make a deal with them. And it can be, hey, you pay for it, do it, bring back the completion, I'll reimburse you, whatever. It could be all of it, it could be half, you could discuss how they would use it in the business, how it would benefit you both for you to pay for it, et cetera, et cetera, and you can have those conversations, but make sure that they're putting skin in the game first without expectation of getting that money back. This is the biggest thing. When I started my journey, I started by reading books. I hated reading books. My boss that I worked for made me do the first chapter review of this book. A successful content creator's guide is a short book. I'm going to read it in a twinkle of an eye. And I'm one of the most competitive people on earth. And remember, I went through college. I went through high school. I never did homework. I never opened a single textbook. I, I hated school, I hated learning. And the reason I found out why later when I read this book was because I wasn't learning things that I valued. I didn't give a damn about Latin American political systems. I didn't give a damn about biology. I didn't give a damn about what the you know third side of a triangle's angle was. None of that mattered to me in real life. I didn't care, therefore I didn't value the education. When I read this first chapter of this book, I realized that, oh wait, I'm actually interested in learning about this particular subject. I can get better at this just by reading this 12, 15, $20 book. And so I read the first chapter, went in to go do the review, and the other guy I worked with had already read the whole book. And I'm the most competitive person on earth. I was so angry that he had beat me by that much because I just read the bare minimum. And from that day forward, <laughs> It's never going to happen again. A, I'm never going to lose to this guy. But B, and more importantly, if I want to learn something, I'm going to start pouring myself into these books. And I read over 52 books in the next 65 weeks. Okay, now not all of them were big, a lot of them were small, but they were all about subjects that I like and that I talk to you guys about. Finances, business, marketing, leadership, teamwork, personal development, all these different things. Now I've even written two books that you can go find on Amazon anytime that you want. One of the things that you really need to understand is that's how you should start investing in your time. Podcasts are free, but who are you learning from? Who are you actually taking advice from? Is it just some idiot who's regurgitating shit from Frisella and Milet? Or is it somebody who's actually built things and they're telling you their experience of how they learned and what they went through to accomplish the goals that you're trying to accomplish? Take these things into consideration when you're buying a book or you're listening to a podcast, et cetera. Because remember, anyone can go write a book. It's not that hard. I think that's the shit, man. The raw intelligence. I'm not touching this. I want this out of here. Anyone can go put words on paper and publish it on Amazon. Anyone can make a video like I'm doing right now and pretend to know what they're talking about without any real world experience. They just regurgitate people who are actually successful. Manolo, you didn't find this. I find it on the floor there. Yeah, I know, but... Right there on the floor there. So make sure that you're auditing who you're learning from and the subjects that they're teaching to make sure that they're going to give you valuable information. But then, once you've done that, podcasts are free. YouTube videos are free. There's so many online certifications and courses that are relatively affordable and cheap because they're LBOs or low barrier offers that'll then get you into their coaching or their mastermind, et cetera. But a lot of that initial content is very valuable things that you should be looking at. 
then obviously you can go into coaching, you can go into certifications, you can go into joining groups or masterminds or, or spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on coaching uh, from specific people, et cetera, et cetera. It, it's a scaled game. What's crazy to me is I spent $70,000 to go to college that I'm still paying back, by the way, because I make too much money for Biden to forgive me. And now I've spent literally over half a million dollars in the last 10 years in personal development. From somebody who used to hate education to somebody who now loves personal development and education, I can tell you that is the reason that I am where I am, but it all started in the same place and it's all affordable for you. It's books, it's podcasts, it's YouTube, and then as you increase your income and as you increase the value and as you go down the path of finding out who you really want to learn from, go through those payment gates, earn that way, because the best investment you can make is in yourself.